Welcome to this edition of Journals of Spiritual Discovery, brought to you by spiritualteachers.org. I'm your host, Sean Nevins. Welcome to Journals of Spiritual Discovery. We're deep into the induction series now, in which my aim is to focus on inspired writings which carry a message beneath the words. Franklin Merrill Wolf called them mystic writings and said, When the voice of the silence speaks into the relative world, the meaning lies between the words, as it were, rather than in the direct content of the words themselves. Richard Rose referred to the power of these writings when he said, If you're interested in looking for essence, from the point of the process observer, you can be stimulated only by writings of inspiration rather than reason or direction. He referred his students to his The Three Books of the Absolute as an example. While Rose used the term inspirational, clearly these are not necessarily inspirational writings like you typically find collected under that banner. Rather, they are writings which carry the living word. Today's reading is two poems from the book Beyond Mind, Beyond Death. His pairing is particularly poignant. His one poem is from a seeker who has now passed away, while the other is from a finder, Bob Servel. Though I call one a seeker and one a finder, I believe you'll sense the truth that threads through both and the direct truth carried beneath the words. This first poem is titled, Just Look, by Jeff Curley. Look, just look, I can't, I say, I'm troubled from the break of day, morning, afternoon, and night, to prove myself, my life, I fight. Feelings, thoughts, concerns, all three, these are all that I can see. How, oh how, to get past me? What can I do to come to be? Look, just look, look and see, by that alone you'll come to me. Wait, no wait, there must be more, something else, some other chore. For what you ask I cannot do, I am lost without a clue. Trust me when you hear me say, your true heart air knows the way. Just find and follow its golden ray, straight back, beyond, down through the fray. But enough talk at last from you to me. Listen close, now hear my plea. Look, just look, look and see. Drop all else and come to me. And this poem is by Bob Sergal, and it's called The Other Side. What sound was it that you first heard that made those ears your ears to hear? And in such hearing spawned the fear of the other side, the silence here. What sight was it that you first saw that made those eyes your eyes to see? And in such hearing spawned the vision, an eye in loneliness imprisoned. What movement made first filled your breath and made that breath your own to breathe? And in such moving brought the gasp 
that one such breath will be your last. What shape was made with flesh and bone that made this form your form alone? A mortal form where thoughts resolved that I as form will be dissolved. What story told first touched your heart and made its theme a thing apart. That heartfelt telling does portend, where flowed life's rhythms, all will end. What words were they that left those lips, through which the source became eclipsed? In darkness, separate shadows grew, as animated forms with speech imbued. What choice occurred that made that choice the one to which you lent your voice? And in that lending broke apart from that the center of your heart. What thing is this that strives to be an individuality it's just an echo of the other side in which all things here do abide. From the other side your being came, on this side came identity. From the other side there comes the call. Yourself is here, not there at all. On the other side of I am this is I am not, and I am nothing. But in that nothing is your being, and in that being, everything. Thank you for listening. I do have one special request during the induction series. And no, I'm not going to ask you to buy anything, but I am asking all my listeners to please leave a review on Amazon for my book, Subtraction, The Simple Math of Enlightenment. I know that a lot of you have read it, and if we can get 100 reviews on Amazon, I'm told that will really help the book stand out and get noticed. So if you enjoyed Subtraction, please go to Amazon.com, type in Subtraction, The Simple Math of Enlightenment, and leave a review. It only takes a few minutes, and you'll help many other seekers simply by giving your thoughts about the book. You don't have to have purchased the book on Amazon in order to leave a review there. So thanks, I hope you can do that for me. And I will see you again on the next episode.